It would be wonderful to give every child that wanted to the chance to do some real archaeological digging, but actually that's quite difficult. And so as part of our What's Under Your School project, we devised a portable simulated dig at a fairly large scale, designed to show how archaeologists recover clues and then how we can use those clues to build up a picture of the past. So it's very important for the children to understand what will and won't survive burial. We also introduced the element of digging in layers to add an extra touch of realism. So the first thing we need to do, and we've already worked out, we've already had a look at this area, and we think there's going to be something here. Because archaeologists don't go and just dig a hole in the middle of a field and think, oh, we'll see if something's here. We've got an idea that there might be something here. Because it's a bit bumpy, and we've done all sorts of clever things that will enable us to see through the soil. First layer, we actually take off quite quickly. And in fact, normally we'd get a great big digging machine out and just dig it all off, but we're going to have to do it a little bit more carefully. So what we're going to do is to take this top layer of grass off a square at a time. That's, these are one metre squares. What you have to do, Claire will help, is you need to lift them up, not drag them up, just lift them up, take them off, and we'll put them in a neat pile somewhere. And also be careful not to dig up more than one layer at a time. So I think we can make a start, don't you, Claire? I think we can probably start with that square over there. So can you two take that one off? Just lift it straight up. And let's have a... Oh, how exciting. What have you found? What have you found? It's a 1p piece. Is it, is it a bit like, does it look a bit like the stuff you've got over there? Looks like clay with bits of stone, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Right, well let's put those back where they, where they came from. Actually, is that all you've found so far? Bits of clay, a 1p piece and a jam jar lid. Pottery, that's the plant pot, isn't it? A piece of pottery? Plant pot, that's glazed. Right, a, a piece of, very good work, piece of glazed pottery. So in other words, it's shiny on one side. So let's see what's underneath this one. Okay, Claire. Oh. Another piece of burnt flint. I think, I think what we need to do now is everybody stand up and just stand back a little tiny bit because archaeologists always look for patterns. They look to see if, there's, if they can see things. Now, can you see any pattern in this? What do you think? Right, so the clay is all around the edges. And so, if the clay's all around the edges, what's in the middle then? Look what we've got in the middle. We've got charcoal, bone, bone and that burnt stone quite close to the middle, haven't we? Fire. A fire. So what do you think all this clay around the outside might mean then? What, what could it actually mean? A what? A wall. A wall? Could be a bit of a wall. That's interesting. I'll tell you what, if we take away the things that are a bit newer, uh, if I take away that, because that's quite new, and I'll take away this, and that, and the tin lid, and wasn't there a penny somewhere here? Okay, so now we're left, now we're left with just the older things. Does, does the pattern look clearer now? I think the only way we're going to find this out is by digging the next layer, don't you? What we're going to do is we're going to collect this up. So if you sit down again, we will collect up all the bits that, that we found in this layer. And of course, the, most, the next thing is to dig the next layer down. Right, can I just put those back in there? So we've taken off the grass, thank you very much. And we're now down to a layer of brown soil. And underneath it, we're going to find something that's a different colour. It's very white in colour. Now, what rock do we find around here that's white? 
No, we're not. No, we're not in Italy. It's actually it's the same sort of thing, but but slightly softer. What is it? Chalk. It's chalk. So we're going to come down to a layer of chalk, and what we hope we might find is we might find marks in the chalk that show us where different things have happened. OK, let's take the first layer here off and see what comes up. There's a mark, there's a mark. There's oh, right. Mark. So, we've got already, already we got some marks of the chalk. And what about, is that the same stuff that we had higher up? If you look, it's got some smooth bits in it, hasn't it? That's right. I think let's do one over this side now. Let's move over this way. Just make Claire run around yes, lots. thank you. <laughs> More marks. Maybe that's where the hog was. And then Maybe that's where the what? The hog was. Where, 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 where they put Oh, right, OK. Let's try this corner. Let's try this corner next. <laughs> now, is that... What's... So that's burnt. So it's some sort of burnt clay. And we've also got some marks in here. What about over this side? Let's do one, let's do one over here. Should we do this one? Right. Let's, let's, let's take this one off here. Let's have a look and see what's underneath this one. Ah, oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Come on, you'll keep. What's that? Flat flint. OK, let's have a look at it. Let's show the others. Uh, we got a piece of flint. Very nice. Do you think that's been... Maybe it was too late. Do you think that's been shaped? Because it's quite round, isn't it? Maybe um, there's a pattern. There's a pattern. Yeah. Going, there's, there's, it may be going uh, it's going round. Oh, you, hang on. You're already seeing a, a pattern yeah. going round yeah. in a circle. Yeah. Well, look, if you're right, if you're right, we should then find some more here, shouldn't we? Let's have a look at this. Yeah, You're right. <laughs> Somebody suggested that it might be a stone for putting round the fire. Somebody suggested it could be for sharpening your weapons on, because is it, is it smooth? Yeah. yeah. Quite it's quite smooth. smooth. So it looks as if something's been rubbed on it, doesn't it? Um, that, but I think that um, <laughs> round there, all, there's, there's all the clay bits, so that so might be the house, and then that might be the door. <laughs> yes, so ah, <laughs> so that's the door there. So let's have a look. Let's take this one off, you because that might give us a clue. Oh. oh, hang on, be careful, be careful. If that's flint, it could be really sharp. It does look so do you think you're right? I think this is going to be That, that idea about yeah. this being yeah. the doorway. So let's take that one off just there. Hey! Yay. What's it's that? It's like, it's like a golden weapon. A weapon. Like a First question you need to ask is, what's it made of? Bronze. It, it looks Bronze. like... It looks ah, what was that second word you said? Bronze. Bronze. So, so if it's bronze, what do you think it is? Can you actually, can you actually all, all see it? So what do you... Door stop? <laughs> A knife. A weapon. A weapon. Okay, scoop. Who said it? Who said it was a door handle? <laughs> okay, spears generally have a sharp point on, don't they? So what do you think? That... Well, hang on. If you remember what we were talking about, what's going to be missing from that? What's going to have rotted away? The wood. So if you if you had a handle that was like that, what do you think it might be? A shovel. A shovel? <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to shovel very much with it. What do you use for chopping wood with? Oh, an axe. An axe. Because look, it's got... Oh, uh, that took a while, didn't it? <laughs> it's a bronze axe. What's that? That loopy thing, that loopy thing at the bottom, is where you tie it onto the wooden handle. You put something through there and it helps to hold it on the handle. So that is a very special thing. What about this one? Let's have a look at this. Another one. 
Another one. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is it the same? Does it look as if it's the same metal? No. no. Hang on. I I I I it's not iron because what happens to iron when it's buried? Rust. It goes rusty, doesn't it? So this isn't rusty. What was that one made of? Bronze. Bronze. Now, is that maybe also a clue to about how old this might be? Because if people are using bronze, when might it be? Bronze Age. Bronze Age. Do you think these are going to be the most exciting squares? Then, so let's come and let's take this first one off here and see what we've got in the middle. What's that? <laughs> What's that? What sort of a bow? Is it a shape? Can anybody see what? So hang on, we've got more. We've got more charcoal. We've got a tooth. Now somebody said mammoth. Have you ever seen a mammoth's tooth? Yes. They're huge. They're about that big. So that's not a mammoth. I think it's probably it's either a cow or a horse. So we've got old pottery, charcoal, and bone. And red bit underneath. And a red bit. Let's come on. Let's get this one off next. I'm, I want to see what's going on here. I think this is where we all need to step back and stand up and have a look again and see if your original ideas, do you think your ideas were right? Yeah. So what do you think we found? A house. Okay, and what shape is it? A round house. A round house. Yeah. A hut. Okay, a round house. And which is the way in? There. Okay. So that's good because there is a circle, but then there's two extra posts sticking out here. Now, why would you put the door? The door but why would you have these extra ones sticking out? Do you know? Do you know what you call it when you build a bit outside a door? What's the word? Conservatory. No, no, not no, not a conservatory. It would have to be a bit bigger than that. What do you call it? A porch. But what's going on in the middle here then? If we've got there's a fire. Listen, if we're talking about what date it is, I've heard people shouting, Viking, Roman, everything like that. What did we decide when we found Bronze these? Age. Bronze Age. Sorry? How old is that, Julian? Bronze this is about, maybe about, just over 3,000 years old. About, so that's about, about 3,000 to 200, 3,300 years old, this sort of. So that might give us a really good clue about the date of this house. So we've got clues here, haven't we, about how old this is and what people were doing here, just from what's left. And these are all the solid things that won't rot away. These marks that are in the chalk, what do you think was there? Wooden posts. Wooden posts. What I think we ought to do to try and reconstruct this is to think about what's actually gone from here and what these clues are, are telling us. So, if those are all wooden posts, over there are some wooden posts. So what I'd like some of you to do, in, 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 neat, neatly, is to come and put a wooden post on each of those big brown oh. spots. These mark where the wooden posts were, so we put those back. But actually, this isn't going to make a very cosy house, is it? Because there's a lot of big gaps, and the wind's going to whistle through and make it thoroughly miserable. So what do we need to fill the gap in? Small logs. Small logs. Well, actually, small, small <laughs> posts. So, in fact, everywhere where these little ones are, they would have banged in a sharpened post. <laughs> because these, you have to dig a hole. You can't bang a post like that in. You dig a hole and you put the wooden post in. With these, you just put these in That's and right. bang them into the chalk. And when they rot away, they leave a mark, just like the bigger ones do. So we've got a few. Let's see if we can just put one or two of these there, just to show us where some of the posts were. Let's see, let's see if we can get some on here. 
it's not going to keep all the drafts out, is it? So what do we do to stop the wind whistling through the wall? What do you think? Is it sort of mud and water as you use? Well, it is sort of mud, but it needs something. It needs something else before you put that sticky, gooey clay on. Sticks weaving in and out. Ah, that's the word, weaving. You do this. You a just box? you get a bendy, a bendy stick. This is something called. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I nearly poked you, didn't I? This is something called hazel, which is a very, very bendy. A very bendy plant. What you end up creating is something that's a bit like a basket, isn't it? Because all of the all of these bits of bendy hazel <laughs> are woven in and out, and it actually makes it quite solid. And then you've got something that you could stick what on? What do you stick onto it then? Clay. What do you think? Mud. It's sort of yeah. Clay. It's clay. And what else has it got and mixed in with? There's some special ingredients. It's Old poo. Well, actually, you don't necessarily need old poo. Any poo will do. But actually, yes, you use clay and you use chopped up straw and the magic ingredient is poo. So, nice bit of animal poo. You get it in your hands, you get a big ball of it and you slap it on the wall and it's great fun. So, we've got a wall, but we need something on the roof, don't we? So, how are we going to keep the rain from coming in the roof? What do you reckon? Straw and sticks. Straw and sticks. Now, what do we call a roof that's made of straw and sticks? A thatch. A thatch. So we've got a house with a roof and a wall, but what's actually missing from here? And what do these things that we found give us clues about? Because somebody already has said that they think that is for grinding grain. Jesus, I'm going through the wall here. So, yes. <laughs> so, that, these tiny little bits of pottery... They're actually part of things that would have looked like that. So we've got a bowl and we've got some grain. So that's one of the things, because the grain's obviously all rotted away, hasn't it? So what would these people have gone to sleep on? What do you think that they would have laid down on? Because you're not just going to lie on the floor of a, of a house like this, are you, and, uh, and go to sleep? So what might they have had, do you think? Who hasn't answered a question for a while? Who hasn't? Animal skins. Animal skins. You're right. So, we've already, if you remember, we've already got a clue that they were sheep. eating sheep. So if you're going to eat a sheep, you might as well make use of the skin as well. And of course, if you went hunting as well, you might be really lucky. And it, No, actually, it's a red deer. So you might be really lucky and actually shoot a red deer and eat it, and then you've got a nice skin that you can use as well. I'll just show you some of the things that are going to have rotted away. Because we've already talked about baskets, because the house is like a big basket, isn't it? So they will have had baskets. There's some more of the wool from their, from their sheep. Um, we've got, if you want to make rope, you can make that out of tree bark. Um, they will have used things like wooden spoons as well for stirring their food. Well, these people were farmers. You can make things out of animal horn. You can collect things like nuts and berries at the right time of year. And of course, if you live close to a river, then you can catch, you can catch fish as well. well if you, so there's all sorts of things that are missing, that have rotted away, that if we think about it, are going to be there. And in fact, do you remember finding this very round piece of flint. It's a very nicely shaped piece of flint. This is what's used for scraping the fat off a skin. Because if you catch an animal and you take its skin off, there's all sorts of gooey fat underneath the skin. And you have to scrape it off before you can use the skin. And you use a tool like this, because it doesn't cut the skin. This is one of the commonest flint tools that we find, is a flint scraper. So, and obviously they're, they're making tools out of flint as well, because even though they're in the Bronze Age, they're still using flint. Um, they're grinding grain, they're cooking food here, because we've got the clues, haven't we? The burnt stone and the charcoal and the animal bones. If you think about how we live 
today, you just turn a tap on and water comes out of it, doesn't it? Yeah. And you go to the shops and you buy food. But when you lived at this time, you had to go and collect your water. And you had to hunt animals. You had to farm. You would all have been working. You wouldn't be at school. You'd have been busy working. And probably for a few years now, weeding the crops, looking after the animals, collecting the water, grinding the grain... So I think actually school's much preferable, don't you? Yeah. And of course, some of these things, they're really useful. One of the things that Flint is good at, because Flint is so sharp, it's wonderful, is that you can do things like gutting fish with Flint. Hang on a minute, let's, let's find it. So, there we go. So there we are, you see, you can, uh, you can, you can gut fish with, with, a, with a flint. Oh. What I'd like to do is want to get rid of some of the things out of here and I'd like to see whether we can get your entire class inside a Bronze Age roundhouse. So we're going to move some of the things out of the way. We'll, we'll, move the, we'll put the pot by the fire. I think we'll take the fish out. For the, uh... Now let's see if we can get an entire class inside a Bronze Age roundhouse. Hang on, hang on. How are you going to get in? Yes, you can't go through the wall. You've got to come in through the... What you need to think about is all of the things that you wouldn't have if you were living in the Bronze Age, if you're living in a roundhouse like that. So can you think of all the things that you wouldn't have? You wouldn't have a TV. No, no. So there's electricity's gone, so there's no PlayStation, no television, no anything like that. What also haven't sugar. we got? Sugar. 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 You're right. No sugar. How could you make things sweet from something that you can find around here? Cane. No, not sugar cane. That comes from another country. Honey. What? Honey. Because there are bees. So you can make some sweet things. You could make a sweet drink by using honey. Has anybody else got any more questions? Put your hands up about Wooden. what it would be like to live in the Bronze Age. Would they have had fresh fingers? Because they would, have had, they would have had fish and then they would have had bread. So they could have put bread crumbs on fish. Theoreti the Theoretically, they could have made fish fingers in the Bronze Age, but we've uh, never found any evidence for fish fingers. So... Do you think that you've learnt how archaeologists find evidence and use evidence? Yes. So, there you have it, the indoor dig. Not quite the same as digging in real dirt, but a lot more manageable, a lot less messy, and something that so far has been experienced by over 2,000 children.